So what I'm going to do right now is, for the first time ever, pretty much, is design my own product in 3D. I've only ever sort of done 2D before, done a lot of 2D stuff, sort of for water jet cutting, that kind of thing, but never in 3D. I've done 3D kind of, I've done sketching in 3D and sort of explained things to my machinist and, and had stuff drawn out, but never done it myself. Now, I will admit now, it's it's something really really simple. It's it's a really simple thing, which is a, which is why I know I can do it right now. Um, but I think it's a good project, good good thing to sort of learn this this solid edge three D CAD software on. I'll explain what it is with the aid of this pencil, mechanical pencil, and this bit of blue tack. Right. So titanium mechanical pencil is a Kickstarter project I did last year and I'm just about to launch a click pen so it's very very similar looks looks the same like as this so they, they, they match except the tips are, are slightly different I'm about to launch that clicky pen on Kickstarter probably in the next couple of weeks and what I want to do what I want to offer or be able to offer is uh, like a like a stand I want to be able to to have a like I've got my own sort of mechanical pencil and titanium pen with a cap and it's usually sitting on my desk. My desk is never that tidy because it's a productive desk. And so I keep losing my pens under bits of paper and thing. Like I have three pens there and you know like they just disappear. So I want I want something where I can just sit it up like that, where I can just basically a little stand just sort of at the back of the desk and so once I'm finished writing I can just go and it'll sit there. So what I'm going to be doing, um, uh, I used sort of plasticine yesterday, sort of um, to, to gauge the size and dimensions of of what I need to do. But so, but I'm just using blue tack today to sort of to show you what I'm what I'm doing really. So very very roughly and very quickly, because you don't want to be sitting watching me playing with blue tack. I want to make a sort of pyramid type thing like this, that's like the world's worst pyramid, not a pyramid, a cone, and this camera is falling down, jeez, and so that's going to sit on the desk like that, and then that's going to sit like that, blue tack's really not the best thing for this, and so that's that's pretty much what I want to do. Let's see if we can get this to focus. So I want to make a titanium thing like that, and then the pen and mechanical pencil just sits like that. And that's it really. So pretty simple. Should just be a, you know, I got the dimensions yesterday and I just need to sort of input them and, and draw it and we'll see how we go. So I was gonna record the screen for you, but I don't have any screen recording, capturing software installed yet, and I just kind of wanted to get on with it. So when I design in the future, I'll try and have that installed so you can sort of come along for the process, even though it'll be ugly because I'm just learning it. So what I did is I just spent the last little while doing the design. It's ultra simple. It's taken me an hour, but that's fine because I'm, I'm learning the software. So I'll, I'll show it to you just now. So that's it right there. It's 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 a simple shape. I actually took quite a bit of um, mucking around yesterday with with the plasticine to get the angle right because you know you don't want it to look too squat, but then you don't want it to look too tall, and so it, it's taken quite a while. But that's that's pretty much it. I've not done the hole in the center here. I'll tell you why in a minute. I have, as you can see, I've done a little chamfer edge there, and underneath I've done a very a very. Uh, a very shallow chamfer. It's maybe a little bit hard to see, but it's it's very very shallow. Um, not compared to the one at the top, which is a little bit a little bit steeper. Now the reason I have not done the hole in the middle is that's that's not just a pure design thing. Like I I think I need to let my machinist sort of figure out the best option for that because you know he he knows the angle of 
of you know the the pen and the pencil you know the angle of the tip I don't know the angle so I can't do that just now so that's pretty much why why I'm not doing that he can sort of experiment there might be a bit of experimenting and, and to see how far it sits down and that kind of thing but that's it my first fully 3d designed thing ultra simple but ultra awesome <laughs> What I am doing right now is a whole load of packing of titanium stuff. We've got titanium pill pots, smaller titanium pill pots, titanium mechanical pencils. Titanium double-ended carabiners. Some little clips, hook-up clips, but they're all in a tub. And lots and lots of labels. It's amazing how long it takes to do the packing. Like, it's just, if you look at that, it's not a lot of stuff, just a handful of stuff, but it takes ages, you know, just, you know, because I, I, I re, re, not re, I do another quality control, like, quality control is kind of all the way through from, like, basically from even before I cut anything in titanium or, you know, or anything gets machined, you know, like, the, the, the raw materials are checked, and even before I sort of do the final pack for, you know, inserting into... Um, you know, little packets and, and heat sealing sealed for shipping to the customer. It, it goes through another quality check. You know, I check the mechanical pencil is working. I mean, it's been done, but yeah, you never know. Like, I like you can't have you can't have even one thing slipping through. I mean, I ship. I don't know. I just don't know how much I ship every month. Like, not exactly. I mean, it's a lot. Well, for me, kind of. But, I mean, for Kickstarter projects, for example, you know, I can do 500 or 1,000 in one project, which is a lot. And so, like, you, you can't have one, not even one go through that isn't quite right or isn't perfect. So, you know, it, it means I end up with a lot of rejects and, you know, a handful of, of do-overs because, like, there might be a minor scratch on, on, on say, a pill pot, for instance, but I have to redo it, you know, when I do an extra run of pill pots, that one has to go back through and, and have the surface redone, but, you know, I've got to, got to uphold the, the impossibly high standards. tell you what I thought I was obsessed before with spinners but I'm getting more and more obsessed every hour every day I've been sitting in that hammock for the last I don't know hour two hours whatever it even rained while I was sitting there and I didn't move thinking about spinners playing with this particular spinner design what I am learning and I'm learning every every spin I do, every every time I think of it, every time I every every time I think about it, every time I look at it and spin it, I like I'm I'm learning more about spinners. Now if you know anything about spinners, which I don't know a lot, but I'm learning fast, you know, most of them it's all about looks. And I went that route initially as well, like 
if I can find a bit of paper, the other day, a day or two ago, I showed you this. Nope, that's just some sort of random junk mail. I should have a design here. Yep, I showed you, I showed you this design here. I don't know if you remember that. Now, that is still a good design. It's a good design. It's got it's got the right sort of scallops taken out for flicking and 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 stopping with your finger and that kind of thing. But I'm realizing, you know, when I design stuff, it's it's always function first. Function first before aesthetics or making it look damn good or anything like that happens. Always function. And what I'm realizing is that. My interest in these lies in the function first and foremost, and I'm realizing, right, it's not just to design a shape like that, it's, it's you know, like, you know, you need to make lumps where your finger can stop it and spin it again. You need to be able to sort of have it so your finger can, can flick it and your finger can slide. There's, there's areas where your finger needs to slide, where it needs to be able to just hit things when you stop it, and it's, it's a full-on obsession, it really is, and, you know, I, I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm very, very close. I, I'm closer than I've ever been to, to developing it uh, to get the sort of final, final design done. I think I might need to make perhaps one more prototype like this. I think, and then I can probably go to CNC, and that will be in the next, next two weeks, something like that. I think. <laughs> I think that is me done for the day. It is early evening now. My son is going to be arriving here soon. He's going to be staying with me for uh, around about a week. So that's pretty cool. So probably a bit less work this week. Still be doing my videos, of course. Still be doing lots of spinner designing. Now, it's amazing how, um, how, like, how much better you can get. Like, I've been spinning these for, you know, countless hours now, just testing and tweaking and that kind of thing and it's amazing how much faster you can get at it. I mean I don't know if you, you won't be able to hear this but you, sh you should certainly be able to see it. I'll try and get a fast spin for you. Here we go. Pretty cool. I think that's probably enough from me today. So I will leave you with a quote. It's by Mae West and she said, you only live once but if you do it right, once is enough. <laughs>